All right, today we're going over the importance of a cheat meal. Now, I had some people comment on that poll and say, don't cover this. It's just going to give people an excuse to continue to eat crap. But here's my rebuttal to that. If I could show you a way to eat like an asshole every once in a while and still get the same, maybe even better results, wouldn't you want to do it? Because the truth is, deep down inside, we're all little fat kids. And if this B-roll that I'm going to shoot of these donuts right now doesn't give you a chubby, we can't be friends. Now, by all means, if you want to go the hardcore route and never cheat on your diet and wear it as a badge of honor, it works. I've done it. But the problem is, it's not sustainable. And not only that, I'd argue it's not a healthy way to go through life. And I'll tell you the exact moment I realized this. I was in the midst of a horrible diet, getting ready for a show. I thought I was doing a good job managing my anger from being so hungry until one day I was driving, got in the turning lane, and I was starting to turn left. And I realized the person in that left turning lane, the street I was turning on, happened to let their car drift a little bit forward in that crosswalk. For some reason, this enraged me. I went double birds, drove the car with my knee, screamed at the top of my lungs, you bitch. It was a little 95 year old white haired lady. She probably tried to stop the car, just didn't have the strength to. I'm assuming she only lived another five days and died wondering what the hell she did wrong. Not too proud of that one. So the best way I found to integrate cheat meals is by staying perfect on your diet. Not messing up in the slightest, whether you're following macros or you have a very structured plan to know exactly what you have to eat during each meal, and you lock it up. And then once a week, you schedule a day and a time where you're gonna eat your face off. And then from there, it's just about tracking your results to whatever extent you're comfortable with, whether you're using the scale, calipers, taking measurements, because as long as you're making progress, you can do this forever. And the way I've kind of framed it with clients in the past is we're letting go of that victim mentality of I have a slow metabolism, and we're training your body and telling your metabolism exactly what to do. Because anybody who's done this for a long period of time can attest to, your body gets more efficient. And then eventually you can have two cheat meals a week or an entire cheat day. And to make sure I'm perfectly clear on this, the only way this works is if you're running a deficit on those days you're perfect on your diet. If you try to do this while you're bulking, you're just gonna get fat. Because I know I'm gonna get this in the comments. Can you still put on muscle while being in a deficit? Yes. Yes, you can. As always, like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Do me a favor, leave a comment of your favorite cheat meal because even in the written form, it's still a genre of food form. Get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.